In the last part of this uh, exercise, what we wanted is that the uh, user will be able to pass the minus minus file name option with the name of the file, and yes, and that's it. And that would be the name of the the colors txt file. So it wouldn't be uh, colors txt, or it would default to colors txt. But if the user doesn't provide that file, uh, if if the user provides minus minus file name and the name of a file, then that would be the, the right file. So, first of all, uh, what we need is we have the... So let's go back to the co command line here. So we have the colors file, right? Colors txt file with uh, several values. So let's copy it so we can test the, the script later. Let's call it ctxt and go to the editor and open the ctxt file and let's say we remove two lines okay so when we are going to check the script with this file we'll see that by default it will show the five names but if uh, we provide a file name option then it will show only the three names so what we need is allow the get options to accept a file name option that needs a string as a parameter and put it into let's say file name and then we declare this as my file name and then we use that name here instead of colors txt file name and then it would be first of all where should we put the colors txt? So we can do two things. We can say check here after receiving uh, returning from get options. We can check whether the file name has a value or not. If not, then put in the default value. Or we can assign the value, the default value, right here. So now, if we have, if the user provides minus minus file name, then that value will be placed in this variable replacing the colors txt and if the user doesn't provide any value then we'll just have the colors txt and now in order to make it a bit nicer we probably better provide here a better, better error message could not open and then file name so now when the user gets the error message, she and he will see what was the name of the file that was provided. And then if we switch back to the, the script and uh, run the script uh, just as it is, we will get the fi five parameters. But if we provide file name ctxt, then it will show only three values. And if I check select 4, it's a bad selection. If I select 3, that's gonna be red. And now if I, let's say, give it a DTXT, then I get the error message could not open this file. And then this is what you get from the operating system. And this is the addition that we got from Perl. The location in the Perl script and the line number. So with that we concluded the, the last part of this exercise as well.